Campus Kolachi YouTube channel is presenting a oral health uh, lecture for MCPS, FCPS, MPH, MSPH students. Particularly, this lecture is directed towards the member of College of Physician Surgeon of Pakistan. We call it MCPS degree, and you can see the healthcare system of Pakistan is actually a provincial and district as well as a talka and then at the union council level we call it primary level secondary level and tertiary level so uh, this shows that the oral health is one of the important aspect and this data shows that 86 percent of americans they consider that oral health is equal to the overall good health so oral health if it is maintained then your health general health is maintained and then the, this map shows that including the pakistan here these are the red areas and this shows that oral health is not satisfactory in pakistan india and many other countries uh, then the, we use the indicator of DMFT, deformed, missing and filled teeth, DMFT and this is a Pakistan data and this shows that DMFT is increasing up to the 65 years from 1.23 to 17.4 as the age grows and 50% of children are carry 3 and 97% of all carriers leon remain untreated so uh, this shows that how that is called uh, the DMF then coming to the poor periodontal or the, the tissue part of the oral health and that shows that the condition is not uh, satisfactory and about 20% people they are suffering from such problems. And then once again the oral health as per WHO the mouth and facial pain is one problem oral and throat cancer is another problem oral infection and scars or sores are another problem periodontal diseases tooth decay and loss and other diseases uh, so the consequences of poor oral health are personal level difficulty population level health system level deteriorated individuals health and well-being decrease economic productivity even if oral health is not good the people are going for the treatment and they are paying the cost and ultimately the economic condition is not satisfactory significant risk factor for other systemic elements and then limited access to oral health care services at primary care level and huge unmet needs comprehensive oral health care is unavailable and inadequate because instruments are costly equipment are costly dental material is costly if you see the epidemiology of the oral health then high incidence and prevalence of dental carry 16 percent with periodontal diseases means muscle around the teeth one third population dental carry a treatment required enormous disparity in access to quality health care between urban and rural area 60 65 percent population is rural 90 percent population is suffering from periodontal diseases and 40 to 45 means half of the population is a carry a dental carry uh, health care workers can help provide basic oral care address the wide gap between rural and urban access affordable and available oral health care 
referral to the appropriate health facilities, screening for oral cancer, universal screen of common non-communicable disease and other areas are there. Then we will have uh, some tips. Brush thoroughly twice a day with a soft crystal toothbrush or miswak or tree twigs. They are particularly the pilu tree is very common and it is soft as well as it has many minerals and chemicals, potassium and other things. Clean between teeth daily is remove the plush, eat a balanced diet, don't smoke and don't use tobacco, replace your toothbrush every three months. So this may be, but if you are using miswak, then every month you can use it easily. It is cost effective to visit your dentist. So these were the few important aspects, but lastly I want to show the great singer of Pakistan that is Lata Mangeshkar and you can see the oral health contributed in the voice, in the beauty as well as whatever the good music you are listening in the subcontinent is one of the important aspects that the Lata Mangeshkar had a good oral health and from this picture you can see uh, from this picture also. Today I was called in a by a national type regional television center uh, Mehran TV and oral health was my discussion. So uh, we must have a fluoride content in our water supply at least one percent and that is one of the common question asked in the MCPS that how much uh, fluoride is required in our water bodies or water supply so it is uh, 0.1 uh, 1 ppm so that is minimum uh, requirement 1 ppm is the correct answer and then we can stop the sweeteners uh, uh, confectionaries uh, eating sugar soft drinks uh, sweet uh, uh, things just like other confectionaries, cakes. So if you are regular eater of these things then the acidic level of the oral cavity will be less than 5 where that is acidic and will cause the decay and we call it carry or plaque in the uh, one of the common oral cavity microbiota or microbes are about research tells that about 300 microbes including bacteria and other things they are present in the mouth cavity and if they are uh, not properly dealt with the cleanliness then that can be one of the uh, cause of pneumonia as well as even the HIV can also uh, reach to through the oral cavity because of the oral practices or oral uh, western countries they believe in such kind of uh, oral activities. Uh, another area about this is that in our countries or in the world about 2 billion people they have some kind of the oral health problem and uh, half of the children are one of the half billion of children of the world they suffer from dental caries and other periodontal problems. Uh, so the prevention lies that you should have tooth brushing or miswak daily or twice. Uh, then you can use the gargles and rinsing method and you can have a uh, sodium chloride gargles that can clean your throat. And oral health is important because it can give you a social and communication 
uh, importance in in the society as well as it can improve the health uh, individual esteem of the life and your life style also so with this i think uh, uh, i will request that uh, the tooth brushing or miswak use is important avoiding sweetener is important and one aspect is that we are achieving the eyes also that is a habit that can crack your oral cavity in your oral cavity and above all the awareness that the oral health is the gateway to your general health so we must have more facilities more awareness uh, more uh awareness about the early detection of the oral or dental diseases dr sandesh kolachi youtube channel will provide you latest information and i think in the context of the pakistan the dmft is important and we must have more surveys at local level dr sandesh kolachi youtube channel if you are new please like it share it and as a student you should know that the question of dmft as well as the dental caries and the bacteria which causes dental caries is the common uh, which is streptococcus uh, mutans is the commonest bacteria which causes dental caries and about 300 bacteria are present in the oral cavity these are the two questions you should remember and uh, daily two times brushing and change your brush every 3 month is another area of prevention and avoiding sweeteners or more sugary a uh, products is one of the area and fluoridation of the water bodies is important thank you very much